Friends, fellows, countrymen, what you see here is the Liberty Bowl, a digital amalgamation of the Liberty Bowl in Memphis, Tennessee. Home of the Memphis Tigers. Home of the Tennessee Oilers for that one season. But more importantly, for this game, resting place of the Kansas Jayhawks. And I say resting place because I'm not optimistic. At least for this weekend, this game is going to be a little bit different. This is an NCAA Football 2002 for the PlayStation 2 release in 2001, as that tends to go. This is an incredibly slapped-together version of a college football game. Like, it's so bare-bones, especially compared to what 2003 was, where it had all the seasons and the dynasties and all the dynasty options. You couldn't change schedules in this game. Uh, you couldn't, like, export your draft class. I don't think you could create a school in this game, but you could play exhibition games, season games, and a dynasty, and I think there was a practice mode. And that was all we really needed at the time in 2001. And, uh, yeah, this is a basic, it's a good game. It is a good simulation of football. It's basically Madden 2002. And sometimes stuff like that happens when you get a random, inexplicable diving catch for the touchdown. But, hey, that does happen sometimes. That tends to happen to the Jayhawks when they go on the road. Uh, if you are, or any of your family members or friends or anybody, as we pick up a fumble on the, on the option pitch there that tends to go for about 30 yards. Hey, whatever, you know, you take what you get when you're on the road in a hostile environment and you are the Kansas Jayhawks. If you're a bad journalist, well, I shouldn't say bad. If you're just, if you're a journalist or any of your family or friends or sports journalists writing about this weekend, uh, let me write one sentence for you. Kansas has not won a road game since October of 2009, maybe September of 2009. The last road game that KU won was, shit, UTEP, Texas El Paso in 2009. That was like the last year we had a lot of hope to go into the season as well. We got some hope going into this season, um, but all is lost. All is lost. The horror, the horror. We totally overshoot the running back there, by the way, but I get the ball anyway because that's just how things go sometimes in NCAA 2002, and on Jay Hooks Through Time, as I should say, the name of the program here. <sighs> Last week was terrible. Last week was completely, aw, uh, completely horrible. And the thing that made it so much worse was that every game last year that ended up like that, it was only a 16-point loss, sure, whatever. It wasn't as bad as the Memphis game was last year. It was not as bad as most games were last year. Uh, you know, again, only a 16-point loss. But what hurts the most go Rascal Flats on you, to go, I think that's Nashville on you, uh, sorry Memphis, I can't think of another cultural, I, Mark Cohn, right, walking in Memphis, Elvis, whatever, what hurts the most was being so close, I gotta not make that reference, anyway, it just felt like they were gonna win last week, <clears throat> I feel like coming off coming off that huge win against Rhode Island. By the way, great option run here. Barely breaking the plane to get into the end zone, but I guarantee you we did indeed get in the end zone to tie the game up there at 10-10. to It's, yeah, that was just terrible. That was just like walking into that game. I predicted when they sat down, I was like, this is going to be a win for KU. KU is going to win this game. They're going to look better. They've got a better offense. You know, uh, Ohio struggled against Texas State. Or against, was, was it Texas State or, uh, like, one of those, uh, Texas San Antonio, like a, a Sun Belt team, though. Not even a great team. We're better than a Sun Belt team, and we are not better than a Sun Belt team. Definitely not better than the MAC team. As it as it felt, I felt like all those emo bands out of Ohio. Sorry, I should say that Memphis does tie the game up here. We took the lead there for a short time. I know I said I tied it. We are tied at 10-10 and 10 here with 43 seconds left to go in the second quarter. But we got a little bit of time to go forward here, and I make a surprisingly smart read right there over the middle, even though it does keep the time uh, clicking down, which I guess was the point there. We go downfield. This would have got us into field goal range, but I had no timeouts because I, several times before, messed up and called the wrong play when I needed to have called a different play. So we end to, uh, we end the first half tied at 10-10. to 10. What I would give to have a close game against Memphis this weekend, because after that showing against Ohio, I just, I like don't have that much... 
confidence or hope for the rest of the season. Um, I was upset at the game because it felt like I had been tricked, almost. I was like, yeah! I was optimistic, and I forgot the the rule that I needed to kind of define for myself, is sometimes you just can't be optimistic. And I kind of wish I hadn't been, because now it feels worse than if I had just kind of been numb to it and accepted it. Uh, to put it into perspective, last week, uh, Sporting Kansas City played Vancouver in the CONCACAF Champions League, uh, a tournament I had hoped for at the beginning of the year, but they ended up losing at home 2-1, to one, getting knocked out of the tournament. But I had kind of already accepted that, and so that wasn't as hard of a loss to take as a sports fan. This one was hard, though, because I expected something, and uh, they didn't. They just didn't show. So I feel like... The rest of the season, you know, maybe that's the numbingness I need. Maybe this feeling right now of just like, ugh, you know, okay, here we are back here again. Maybe that's what we need right now. I get basically have like a Jameis Winston fumble right there. It doesn't go the way that the uh, <laughs> the fumble in the national championship game went. Or it wasn't the championship. It was a playoff game a couple years ago went. That field goal, by the way, I believe that goes through. So we take a 13-10 to 10 lead in the fourth quarter, ladies and gentlemen, on the road in Memphis. I, I highly doubt we will ever have a lead against Memphis this weekend, by the way. But, like, I wish that I kind of had expected this the loss coming. It, it, it kind of hit like a load of bricks, though. It was just like, oh, we can't do anything in the first half. It was just like, okay, they're going to run the option on KU. They're just going to... They ran the option on KU. Like, nobody does that, except for Frank Solich. And... That whole game was just bad, um, and I can't really mince words. I can't be more than... It, I, there were some bright spots in the second half. There are some good players. I say as we're moving down the field here to kind of put the game out of reach, we give the ball to halfback number 11, who was our workhorse during the NCAA 03 series that I did last year. He's getting yards in this game. He had a great game here. We get a pass over the middle to number 85, and then on second and seven, we are pressured. Coming off the outside, the blocker just messed up, but hey, we get the throw off, and we get the catch there in the end zone. 20-10 to 10 in the fourth quarter. We have the lead in Memphis. So, if this were real life, this would be the first away win in God, seven years. And, you know, that should be upsetting, but to a certain extent, it's just the way things are. Because I used to think I, I think I used to get upset about it, but it's just like at this point you're kind of you, you're just kind of used to it, you know. And we're not gonna win on the road. It's like a, a guarantee, kind of. We barely win at home, you know. We didn't win anything last year, so that's probably what I expect. I will be at this game uh, in Memphis. F fun fact: uh, I will be the one holding the the tuba and presumably playing it in the stands. So if you're at the game, you can see me. You could have saw me last week as well. You could have seen me last week. They go for the onside kick there after the field goal. If I were in that situation, I would have just gone for the touchdown because you're not getting the onside kick either way. Uh, so Because this game was terrible with that. All of the video games were really bad with onside kicks. So we can just run the ball, uh, run the clock out. We get over 100 yards with number 11 today, which is good. And that's the end of the game. It is 20-13, to 13, getting a 7-point road victory. You know what would be great is getting a tough 7-point road victory in 2016. I don't see it happening, but I will be there, and I'll be in support the whole time. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys have a great day. Enjoy this weekend. Enjoy all the football. You know, have a great time. Love yourself. Love the games, and I will see you next week.